Yeah. So in addition to the reputational damage, what what are the risks that I need to be paying attention to if I'm running a company like that? Yeah, there's sort of two broad categories. The first one is the sort of the fake invoicing or as the banks call it, fraudulent uh, transfers of funds. So this is where you receive some kind of bill and it says, you know, you need to pay X amount of money or some of us have seen the low tech versions of this where it looks like your boss has sent you an email and says you need to go buy, you know, $500 worth of gift cards. Uh, but those things cost us billions. And I've given you some you know, unsophisticated example there, but there are far more sophisticated ones where they're able to infiltrate the email of a CFO um, and then transact you know, in the millions um, you know, funds out of the company, which of course you know, ends up you know, becoming significant losses. The other sort of pillar that's, that's become very prominent throughout uh, the coronavirus kind of year in 2020 um, is ransomware. And so ransomware is that, uh, that malware that effectively mm-hmm. locks your computers, locks all your files, and you get this nasty message that says, pay me some amount of money in cryptocurrency currency to get your files back. And they've shifted from what I call transactional types of attacks where they're locking, you know, one or two machines and looking for $500 to massive uh, operational disruption. So they're taking down manufacturers. We saw in Ontario, you know, hospitals that were shut down for days, and now they're not looking for $500. They're looking for $500,000, $5 million, and so on. And that's become actually such a significant problem facing mid, mid-sized market companies that, in fact, south of the border, several government agencies have sort of cautiously reminded companies the the sort of the risks of paying those ransoms and I and I think that you know are, do I think they're going to punish those companies for attempting to restore the business no but I think what they're doing is effectively exposing and admitting the sort of the magnitude of the problem that we face. 